love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben, and it's time for some more PKT.cash action. And in this video, for the first time, I'm going to go through it and set up my PKT Electrum wallet. It is a different wallet than the mining wallet. And the reason why I want to do this is to move the coins that are in the mining wallet out of there so that miner can keep functioning without having uh, the weight of those extra coins in there. Now, the Anode VPN wallet, which is a new wallet, a new part of the PKT development, is on the precipice of coming out it is getting tested there was some issues with the original lightning network connection but that has seemed to been resolved shout out to cjd and the rest of the pk team as i'm sure they're putting in extra hours to get this wallet and this vpn out as soon as possible but let's go set this wallet up so all the links will be in the description we just go to pkt.cash and we can hit mine just like where we went to get the mining wallet the world wallet and if you're new to this and you haven't seen how to set up that mining wallet yet or don't know exactly what i'm talking about the link to that video will be in the description as well as somewhere above my head but we'll click on set up wallet and we can go down here to the multiple different wallets we can use WPKT on MetaMask Wrapped PKT. Here's the Anode Mobile Wallet. It's going to be for iOS and LND for microtransactions coming soon. So there's a liquidity pool on PancakeSwap for BNB, the Binance Coin, and WPKT Wrapped PKT. And that's why you would want to use the MetaMask for now. But let's go ahead and hit Install Electrum. So we have the Mac version there. I'm not using Mac, so we need to go to the Windows version. We need to download the latest release. And here it is in GitHub. We'll save that. So it's telling us that we may get prompted by Windows trying to protect the PC. So there is that pop-up for me. So I'm going to go to More Info and Run Anyway. And that should start the install process. Yep, there we go. And I'm going to put mine actually in a different drive and install. So it's running the install right now. You know, it shouldn't take very long at all. Look at that. And we're done. Completed close. So we should have the wallet popping up in a second. Or maybe I need to go look for it. Oh, here it is. So it made me a nice little desktop icon. Let's follow the instructions. Once we get through that, setting up your wallet, we'll just do the auto connect. That's what's suggested. And we have to create a new wallet. So we're just going to go with the standard wallet. If you want to get more technical and dive into these other wallet options or importing your PKT addresses or private keys, which more than likely you probably don't have at the moment and then we're going to create a new seed i'm going to take it off screen because i am going to be using this wallet while i do that now once that seed phrase has popped up i cannot stress this enough write it down do not skip this step make sure you secure this seed phrase so then you'll have to confirm your seed phrase that you've just created with this wallet and put it back in here into this prompt. Once you've done that, you will create a password just like any other type of application. Of course, you wanna make sure this is secure as well. And then once you've got your password created, just make sure that encrypt wallet file is on there, click next, and then the wallet is going to open. And we can see here for security reasons, we advise that you always use the latest version of PKT. Would you like to be notified when there's a newer version of PKT Electrum available? Yes, of course we do. All right, so we have got the wallet set up. Not very long at all to do this. And so now I'm going to attempt to send some of my PKT from the mining wallet to this wallet. All right, so I got the PKT Electrum wallet up on this side, the PKT World Mining wallet on this side. We're gonna go to Receive on the Electrum wallet, and I'm gonna put a description from Mining World wallet. You can put whatever you would like, and then we're gonna put the Expire to Never because we're going to create a new address, and bam, 
we have our new address. So we're going to copy this address, tap that right there, and we're going to go to send coins on the world wallet, and we're going to put the address in from the other wallet, and then we're going to do a test first. When I send crypto for the first time to a new wallet, or in through a new exchange anything like that I always like to send just a little bit so we're gonna just send 20 PKT to make sure that it goes through and be sure to have your PKT mining wallet check marked up here at the top or it's not going to go through so send you're about to send 20 PKT to this address are you sure you want to continue yes so I'll put in my passphrase for the mining wallet to unlock it and there we go that is unlocked at the bottom here we can see balance zero pkt but then we have plus 20 pkt unconfirmed as soon as that gets confirmed it should be in this wallet and then also show up here on the history yep right there balance 20 pkt and we can see right here when pkt gets sent to your new address you will get a notification it says unconfirmed because the transaction has not yet been included in the history of the blockchain. So when the next block closes, because PKT is its own layer one blockchain, then this transaction should be recorded in that block and should go ahead and confirm. And there we go, PKT Electrum payment received. So if we go up here to view, we're gonna to wanna to add show addresses and then add show coins. We click over here and look at there. There's that wallet address from the Mining World Wallet, 20 PKT. So that worked beautifully. If you want to send PKT from the Electrum Wallet, then you would just add the wallet address there, put in a description if need be, then the amount of PKT, and then you would just click pay. The same process it took to receive the coins we'll have to wait for again as the blocks confirm for sending the coins so overall it's a pretty simple looking wallet but very functionable just like the world wallet another reason why i like pkt so much is we can worry about the pretty later for now let's just get some solid technology that actually works and we don't have any issues with so be sure to get down in the description check out those links join the pkt discord so you can stay up to date with everything going on there and also join the Framework Fortune Discord. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.